The Upstart Configuration Files, Part 2. In another video, I have discussed the first few lines in the old etc slash nittab configuration file, and the replacement scripts in the etc slash event dot d directory. In this video, I discuss the last part of the former etc slash nittab file, and the replacement directives in the noted directory, and a bit more. To review, I take the etc slash knit tab that I'm reviewing from the one used, at least on my system, for the Dapper Drake release 6.06 .06 of Ubuntu Linux. About halfway into the file, which I've highlighted here, we have a series of comments along with run levels. As suggested by the comments, Run level 0 halts the system. Run level 6 reboots the system. Whatever the default run level is, as defined by the first line, determines which of these lines down here are run between 0 and 6. These lines in the etc slash event.d directory are replaced by the rc0 through rc6 scripts. For example, if run level 0 for some reason happens to be your default, that runs the scripts in the etc rc0.d directory. For most cases, the default is run level 2. In that case, the rc2 script runs these scripts in the etc slash rc2.d directory. If there was ever a problem with a run level, the su login script sort of acts like an emergency script. In the ARP start system, that's replaced by the SU login script, as shown here. Back to the init tab configuration file. When the control alt key combination is pressed, it provides a CA signal, and in these run levels, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, this particular shutdown command is run. That's been replaced with the Control alt delete script, which runs a slightly different shutdown command. The dash R actually reboots the system. One thing no longer addressed by the upstart system, or isn't addressed by the upstart system, are power failure messages. These messages, PF, PN, and PO, are signals generally sent from an uninterruptible power supply, also known as a UPS. If you have a UPS on your system, and it's connected, you should install the PowStatD package. The files in that package include its own scripts which replace the messages shown here from etc slash init tab. The final active commands from etc slash init tab are associated with Gettys. Gettys are essentially command line terminals. I've logged into TTY1 to show you a knit tab. This is in TTY2, and as shown on top here, I haven't logged into TTY3, 4, 5, or 6. The first Getty is started in run levels 2, 3, 4, and 5, 
The other Gettys are started in run levels 2 or 3. As suggested by the comments, you can add even more Gettys if desired. You can access these different Gettys by pressing the Alt key simultaneously with the function key associated with the Getty. In other words, Alt F1 gets you into the first Getty, Alt F2 gets you into the second Getty, and so on. In most cases, Gettys are automatically respond. What that means is when someone logs off, say in virtual terminal or Getty number three, that Getty is automatically respond. Alternatively, if you've killed the process associated with that Getty, that Getty is also respond. And that's the effect of the respond message shown here. The functionality of these lines has been taken by the TTY scripts. TTY1 takes the functionality of the first Getty. And as you can see, it gets started in run levels 2, 3, 4, and 5. It's respond and so on. That's it for how the files of the upstart system replace the directives in etc init tab.